So now he's just got a gaping butt wound. This is a really, really weird way to do this, this whole area. Ah. Uh, wait. This way, right? Yeah. I'm starting to freak out again, sorry. Getting a little... A little jumpy. Alright, so, yeah. Here's the way down. Actually, I need to become human... I need to use some humanity here. I'm going to do two things here. I'm going to become human, and then I am going to uh, kindle the bonfire. Oh, that's right. So I need a reverse hollowing first. And then kindle. There we go. Ah, oh, okay. I need, to, I need to calm down. So we're just making our way down to the boss now. Ow. Ow. I kindled to get 10 Estus Flasks because after that last fight and realizing the Gaming Dragon isn't as easy as I remember, I want the healing. So I'm just going down here as quickly as possible. I do not want to be invaded or anything like that, so I just want to run straight down to the boss, grab Lotrek, grab Solaire, and get in there. Where is Lotrek's summon sign? Uh, I know it's up here somewhere. Where you at, buddy? Come on. You're such a jerk. You're going to ruin my life later. The least you can do is help me with this boss. There's my body down there. Solaire. There he is. Could not remember where he was for the life of me. So it's very, very helpful to summon both of these guys. Um, Lotrek will do a lot of damage and Solaire will tank if you're lucky. If you're unlucky, Lotrek will do damage and tank and die very quickly and then Solaire will just be a distraction for a little bit until he dies. All right, so now that I have both of them, we're just going to head down and get this fight started. And try not to die immediately. So, can I skip this cinematic? I don't know. Yeah, there we go. I'm just going to grab my body, wait for these two guys to come in. So I want Solera to get engaged on him first, because I want him to be tanking. I'm just going to run around and try to get this tail. To get the tail, you're going to want to hit the base of it with as many vertical attacks as you can, just like the gargoyle. Or, wow. He's not letting me hit his tail. Oh, so I need to watch out for that attack. Wow, they are already pretty hurt. Okay, come on, dude. There we go. Just avoid that tail swipe. I know the tail has got to be getting close to being off. So unfortunately, low track is both doing damage and tanking. Which is fine. I mean, I want Solaire to survive because I want a sunlight medal. This is weird. The tail is not coming off. Let me change weapons here. I'm going to swap over to the Zwei Hander for some harder vertical hits. Make sure I get this tail. There we go. So there, the Dragon King Great Axe is what you get for that. Which I'm not going to be able to use for a while, but I don't like to let him... Any guy that I can get a tail weapon from, I like to try to get one from. 
So now he's just got a gaping butt wound. Switch back over to... Oh god. I'm gonna get myself killed like this. There we go. Okay, so Solera's almost dead. Lotrex almost... Oh, they may be dead now. They're definitely dead now. Whoa, how did I not die by that? Lotrex not dead yet? How is that even possible? I feel cheated. So, I mean, now that I've got the tail off, strategy for this guy, really, avoid his front. Uh, when he goes up like this, he does more kind of quick attacks. Uh, when he's down on the ground, like that. Ah, oh, crap. Of course, I go to talk about strategy, and he manages to catch me with his hardest hitting attack. Let me skip ahead. I'm getting hit by a rat before the boss. I'm just really good. Alright guys, we are back. Instead of Solaire, well, instead of Lotrek, I have summoned a player. So we're just going to go through and try to kill this guy. I wonder if he'll actually last longer than Lotrek. Who knows? Sometimes when I summon other players, they don't really last very long. Skip this. Come on. Skip it! Skip it! Okay. Or, I think maybe the other guy has to skip it too, and he's not. Maybe he's never seen this boss before. Maybe I'm in for a really terrible time. Let me grab my body, though, because that's the only thing I care about right now. Okay, so strategy with this guy. Huh, let's start that over again. So when he's down like this... You really have to worry about being in front of or near his tail. He's going to do tail swipes as well as uh, do that charge forward attack, which can't kill you if he manages to hit you with it. 
and he likes to reposition himself with that kind of slam. Just think of like the Asylum Demons, the, the butt slam that they do. That's kind of what he's doing there. Uh, now, usually when he switches from that up, like, position down to where he's laying, he will charge forward pretty quickly after that. So you just want to try to stay out from in front of him as much as possible. That includes in front of his legs. You notice he has a really, really large leg span. Those legs will actually hit you as he's running forward and deal enough damage to where, you know, I mean, it's definitely something, oh God, we need to look out for. Okay, I don't want to die because that would just be stupid. Oh, am I going to be? Okay, good. Uh, you want to avoid trapping yourself in corners with this guy because he does the huge super sweeping attacks and being stuck in a corner will get you killed. So as weird as it feels, you actually want to be out in the open against him. Oh, Solaire's dead again. Yep. Defeat of the Grave Lord Servant. I mean, I know what that means, and I'll explain it after, but I don't know why it popped up there. Uh, Grave Lords are actually a uh, covenant in this game. Oof! They are uh, followers of Grave Lord Nito. He lives down in the catacombs. Uh, they're kind of interesting because they invade worlds in kind of a weird way. Uh, using the Eye of Death that I got off of those Basilisk, if you were paying attention earlier. Uh, those are actually a charge that the Gravelord servants use. What they do is they kind of initiate an event where they poison other players' worlds by empowering certain min minions there and making them really tough to kill. Um, and then if they happen to, and they, they also leave kind of like a summoning sign, but it's not really a summoning sign where they're standing. It, it's weird. Uh, let me try to explain this in a better way. When they initiate this event, wherever they are standing in their world will pop up a summoning sign in your world. And if you interact with that sign, you actually go into the Grave Lord Servant's world and if you can kill him, the poison that he initiates in your world will go away. If he kills you, either through, uh, during the poison event, if you die, or if you die specifically to one of the minions he's empowered, he gets favor with his covenant and more consumable items, and he can level up within the Grave Lord Servant Covenant. So I'm not sure why it said that I had defeated a Gravelord Servant. Because I didn't see any empowered minions as I was running up here. There we go. Dragon's done. Thank you, human player. You're the best. Goodbye, friend. That's it for the Depths. That is the Gaping Dragon done. Blight Town key acquired. Not required for me. I could have gone to Blight Town before. But next time, I guess that's where we'll be heading, huh? I'm going to run around the depths and collect all the items I skipped over during my rush through the wrong direction. And then we'll come back and we'll head down to Blight Town and get that done with. Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry it was so weird. I mean, that was odd for me. Uh, stay tuned. Take it easy. So if you're still watching after the outro, thank you. I'm just going to show you real quick that the Blight Town key opens the door right next to this merchant. So this is the front entrance. I am not going to be using this entrance because I use the back entrance. So stay tuned for that. Well done. An ally has been slain. Enemy slain. Rampage. <laughs>